Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a very intense highlight and a more wearable St. Patrick's Day look. So if you want to see how to do this makeup, just keep on watching. Okay, so my eyebrows are already done, so I'm just going to prime my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. So we're just going to start off for my foundation, and I'm just going to use the Fenty Beauty foundation. I'm in the shade 210, so I'm just going to blend this onto my face. foundation is done I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm in the shade light I'm just going to use this to cover my under eyes and then also highlight my nose and forehead So now that my foundation and concealer is done, I'm just going to set my face with my Rimmel Stay Matte, which I hit pan on, and I'm kind of upset about it. But I'm just going to get the product on my face and then stipple it into my skin like this. Okay, now that I set my face with powder, we're going to move on to bronzer just so I can bronze my pale face up because I am extremely pale. So I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm just going to throw put some on my forehead too because why not? It might look a little crazy on camera but that's because my lighting sucks and I look really pale so. So now that my face is kind of Bronze. I'm gonna go take a more defined brush, so it's like an angled, an angled brush, and I'm going in with that hula bronzer again and just focusing it on my cheekbones, kind of contour a little bit. That looks so crazy on camera, but on real life it doesn't. In real life, it doesn't. But moving on to blush, I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Tickled Pink Blush, which I hit pan on, and it's just more of a peachy pink, and I'm going to take that contour brush again, just because I want it to blend in with my bronzer, and just go on my cheeks and slightly bring in all the apples in my cheeks to put some color in my skin again. Okay, now that the face is done, we're going to move on to eyes, and I'm going to prime my eyes just using my Too Faced Concealer again. I'm just I use concealer just so it can cover up the veins on my eyelids, and it kind of just works the same as a primer, so... I'm going to take my Morphe 35B, and I'm just going to use this shade right here to set that concealer that I put on my eyelids. Okay, moving on. I want to do kind of a halo eye today. Okay, now for the transition shade, I'm just going to take my Morphe 35B again. I'm just going to take this lime bright green right here and I'm going to put this into my crease and a little above my crease just for a transition shade. transition shade is in the crease I'm going to take my Anastasia subculture palette and use the green shade in here just to make that look a little more defined so I'm going to take the shade destiny which is just a army green color I'm just going to put this right underneath that bright green Okay, 
Okay, so now that we put that shade into the crease, we're going to take a little bit of Untamed, which is more of a brighter green, but it's also kind of a gray, like a greenish blue. So we're just going to put this on the inner and outer V's of our eyes. Just pack it on there and then we could blend it in after. This is how I do my halo eyes. If you guys do it differently, do it any way you like and any way that's easier for you. But this is just how I do it. So I just put it on like that and then I just blend it in. And it's okay if it gets in the center of your eye. We're just going to cut that out with concealer anyway. take a little bit of my Too Faced concealer. I'm just going to take a Luxie, what brush is this? I'm taking a Luxie 223. It's just a short shader brush, but I really love this for cutting creases just because it's round and then it really just, I don't know. I suck at cutting my crease, so it just really helps. So I'm not going to talk during this because it's kind of very difficult, so just watch what I do. so the eyeshadow we put there can pop. I'm just going to set that with a skin shade again, just so it doesn't move around. For the lid shade, I want to use the shade Mojito from the Kylie Royal Peach Palette, which is, cause, which is just this bronzy kind of sparkly green. So just going to pack that on in the center of the lid. Okay, now that it's the intensity that I want it, I am, it's looking a little harsh if you can see that it literally just looks like a block of like green in the center. So we're just going to take a fluffy brush and just blend out the edges. And just blend that dark green into the center just a little bit. So it's not as harsh. We're not going to do any eyeliner because I really don't want the eyeliner to take away from the eyeshadow. So we're really just going to do mascara and lash. I'm going to take my Tarte Tardis mascara and just lightly coat my eyelashes before I put on lashes. Okay, I just applied my lashes off camera because it literally takes me forever to do, but I just applied my So now we're just gonna blend our real lashes to our fake lashes. Even though I already put mascara on, I still like to do the step just to make sure that they're blended together. The lash line, I want it to not be as dark as the top of her eyelids, so we're gonna take again and put this on our lower lash line. Okay, so before we finish off the look, we're going to do our highlighter. We're going to go in with the Ofra Nikki Tutorials collab and we're going to use that white real quick. I can find my highlighting brush. I'm just going to use a highlighting brush and just put that slightly on my cheeks. going in with the honest and we're going to take the shade Lucky Clover and we're just going to put that on top of the white. I don't know if you can see it changing but it's really cool. I'm also going to use that shade Lucky Clover and highlight our inner corners.
K-H-L-O dollar sign by the Coco Collection by Kylie Jenner. We're showing to put this on our lip. So this is the finished St. Patrick's Day more wearable look. It's a very intense holographic highlight, if you can even see the color change. Oh, now you can see it. This is the highlight, and then here is the eyes. And then... My camera's out of focus. But... I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Right, you motherfucker, yeah.